Stamps are used in conjunction with sculpting tools to apply specific patterns onto a model. Click the button at the top left of the stamp tray and select Add Stamp. Navigate to the Exercise folder and select the Word.png file and click Open. The word Stamp has been added to the stamp tray. Its icon is on the far right, so you may have to scroll to see it. We are going to sculpt a row of word stamps into the plane. Before proceeding, increase the level of detail to 5 by pressing Shift D until the heads up display indicates that you are on level 5. Select the Sculpt Tools from the Sculpt Tools tray, then click the word Stamp icon. Adjust the tool settings as follows Set the size to 25. Set the strength to 10. Make sure the invert function and the randomized checkboxes are cleared. Make sure a check is in the Use Stamp Image checkbox. Stamp spacing should be checked and set to 6.25. The Steady Stroke checkbox should be cleared. Set the build up to 50. Stroke across the surface, and what do you see? A row of words? Well, sort of. The word stamp is being used over and over, but the stamp is overlapping so much that you can't distinguish one from the next. Let's see what we can do about that. Undo the last sculpting action and adjust the stamp spacing by entering 120 in the numeric input. Stroke the plane again and you can see that the stamps are spaced farther apart and that they can now be distinguished from each other. You may see a mirror image of the stamp on the plane. This can be corrected using one of the four tool settings located above the stamp preview in the tool settings window. The first icon is a toggle that controls the orient to stroke option. Hover the cursor over the icon to see an example of the option. With this option on, the stamp will always be placed at a right angle to the direction of your stroke. The Rotate button rotates the stamp image 90 degrees from its original orientation. The Flip buttons flip the stamp image vertically or horizontally from its original orientation. It's important to understand that looking at the stamp image preview in the Tool Settings window is a keen to looking at a rubber stamp in the real world. When looking at the stamp itself, you can see a reverse image of what will appear on the stamped surface. If the word stamp appears mirrored in the preview image, it will be right reading when applied to the surface. Undo the last sculpting actions and place a check in the randomized checkbox. Stroke the plane and you can see that the stamps are placed randomly across the path you stroke, even though their spacing remains at 120. The sliders in the randomized section control how the stamp rotates. The degree to which it is displaced vertically or horizontally in relation to the path, how much the size varies, and the strength of the stamp. There are also checkboxes to flip the stamp horizontally and vertically. Watch what happens when I maximize all the sliders in the randomized section. As I stroke the surface, you can see drastic variations in the stamp application. The Snap to Curve option allows you to place stamps along a redefined path. The Steady Stroke option allows you to control the freehand path you stroke, keeping minor stroke variations under control. Mudbox relies heavily on color value in all images used as stamps. With a single black and white image like the word stamp, you can see how those distinct values are interpreted. Pay attention to the colors in the image you use to create your own stamps. Colors may have to be adjusted to achieve the result you desire. 
Stamps are one of the simplest tools in your Mudbox arsenal to accelerate the sculpting process. Experiment with them to increase your comfort level. You'll be glad you did. 